A very good morning to you all and welcome to the end of time Igusville Sevens Tournament. And on the field of play we have uh, Igusville taking on St. John's and uh, right from the kickoff Igusville seem to attack and that's a very good attack. A try coming from Igusville. Wonderful play from Igusville. And they register the first points on the board. Igusville leading five points. Well done, Vale. Good play from the boys. Get to new <laughs> Another exciting uh, uh, play there from uh, Igusville as they are leading in this match 14 points to new right in the first half of the second game. Wonderful play there. Unfortunately, it's taken to the ground. Good play from Igusville. Uh, they seek to extend uh, their lead. The ball goes out of touch. Line out St. John's. Unfortunately, that was a bad line out. He couldn't do much, and Igusville is capitalizing on yet another 
piece of advantage here. Is it keep going? Can he find another try? Yes, it is. There you go. One more try for Eaglesville. Eagles one more try for Eaglesville. I'm wondering if everybody else is on the edge of their seat like I am. 17 points. The intensity of the game is something else. Uh, 19 points, rather. As being corrected here, it's 17 points in favor of Eaglesville. Will St. John's reply? Of course, with the conversion to go. And. Was that conversion good? Can anyone confirm? Yeah. It was good. About. So, Eaglesville with a 17 point advantage. Another beautiful piece of play from Eaglesville as they add more points onto the board. Eaglesville is doing very well and taking advantage of every opportunity. Loma Gandhi and Hillcrest. Loma Gandhi and Hillcrest, please get ready. You are on in the next round. Loma Gandhi and Hillcrest, please get ready. You are on in the next round. And uh, that signals half time, a two minute half time break. Eaglesville with a comfortable lead. Loma Gandhi and Hillcrest, please get ready. It's 17 0.
And uh, welcome back to the second half of this thrilling encounter between Eguzwell and St. John's. Eguzwell enjoying a very comfortable lead here. 25 points started, to new. A good piece of play there. With some great play, very fast paced from both teams actually. Eagles while it's being pushed to defend. Eagles are now having to defend for the first time in this game, but they've regained position. Tenova and uh, it's St. John's ball. Scrum and uh, quick ball from St. John's as it offloads it. Opportunity, can it go uh, under the post? He, he, and yes, uh, St. John's. Oh, the referee blows for a uh, it's a held up, unfortunately. It's uh, that was definitely a, call, a close call. That was definitely a close call. But the St. John's boys seem a little more confident and a little more aggressive. And I think it's working for them. Quick tap. Attempting a quick tap and go right there. But uh, unfortunately, knocks the ball in the process. Bit of confusion in the St. John's camp there. Good piece of play. Can he go all the way? Unfortunately, the offload was poor. Well collected by Igusville. Who can make good use of this opportunity? Good attempt there by their Percy Winger. Good trickery. Can he elude him? Goes to the ground. St. John capitalized. Referee blows for an earlier on foul. St. John's with the advantage. Good play there from St. John's. Can they go all the way this time around? Unfortunately, good that was so defense that from was so, uh, Igusville. So A close call. And quite disappointing on St. John's behalf. Otherwise, good defense from St. John's. It is clear 
Eagles will, can no longer skate by. They definitely have to up their game. St. John's, unfortunately, couldn't uh, put some points on the board, but came into this second half a different outfit. If they forced Eaglesville to defend, a couple of unforced errors. Loma Gandhi and Hillcrest, two minutes till your game. Loma Gandhi and Hillcrest, you have second half. Eaglesville with the advantage, and uh, first time in the second half on the offense. And uh, the number 11 from still uh, Iguzo with the momentum and advantage with one player uh, less from the opening team. A couple of knock-ons there. Hillcrest and Loma Gandhi. Hillcrest and Loma Gandhi. We should be seeing both teams in the vicinity by now. This game seemed to have gone the Eagles away. As we are fast running out of time for St. John's to give any res meaningful response. And uh, that signals the end of this match. Eaglesville. And there goes the bell. Winning this one. And uh, St. John's at attempts a final attack, but unfortunately, he did not have enough gas in the tank to outrun the Eaglesville players and couldn't do much with that counter-attack opportunity and the referee signals the end. Eaglesville winning their first match. And welcome back to yet another thrilling encounter on the field of play. We have got Hillcrest taking on Lomagandi. The gentleman from Chinoy, clothed in their traditional yellow, green and white pants. With the boys from Mutare, clothed in their traditional navy blue and white.
Excellent piece of play there. Good offense. Nice offload there. Good play from Lamagandi. Good play there. Quick hands from Lomagandi. Good offload there. Good play from the number 17 as he goes all the way to draw first blood. And uh, Lomagandi leading 5 new with a conversion to go. Right within the first minute. Well done to Loma Gandhi. And uh, number 10 to take the conversion. Number 10 and to take the conversion. Adds uh, two more points to the board. It's seven. And uh, adds two more points to the board. Well done, Loma Gandhi. It's now seven to Loma Gandhi. And back to the kickoff. Back to the kickoff. Lomagandi with the momentum. Good kick. Unfortunately, he couldn't, he couldn't collect it. And uh, allowing Lomagandi to regroup. Good play there from Eucharist. Good play from Eucharist. What a fast-paced game. Very exciting, gentlemen. Well done. Good play, good trickery. Can he go all the way? Unfortunately. Tries to play him out of touch, but uh, good play. Good play from Lomagandi. Switches play to the winger, number 17, now has the ball. Play is now at the wing, number 17, now has the ball. Oh, sloppy from uh, Eucharist. They allowing uh, Loma Gandhi to post more points right more beneath points the post. Too bad for With a conversion to go, up steps the number 10 again. And uh, 14 points. In favor of Loma Gandhi. With 14 points now in favor of Loma Gandhi. Well done, Loma Gandhi. Keep your heads up, Hillcrest. All is not lost. It's a tightly contested uh, game. What a tightly contested game. Well done from uh, Eucharist, well collected. Tries to fend off uh, pressure coming from Loma Gandhi. Foul spotted there by the referee. Calls for... A scrum. Advantage, Loma Gandhi. Good quick play from Loma Gandhi. Good hands. Excellent play from Loma Gandhi. Good play there. A good and quick offload. Good quick allowing play from Loma Gandhi. Good offload. Well done. Loma Gandhi to add again. more points on the board. Let's keep up the pressure, Hillcrest. We can do it. Taking his sweet time before he can place the ball and. Finally, he does it. Nineteen points with a conversion to go, and twenty-one points in favor of Loma Gandhi. 
Hillcrest needs to search deep to find a response to this game that's fast turning into a massacre. Right within the first half, seven minutes aside, Lomagandi leading 21 points to zero. Lomagandi are well organized, playing a very structural game, regrouping every time they are being attacked. A good quick, a ah, good play there from Lomagandi. Can he go all the way? Unfortunately, good defense from Eucharist. Advantage Loma Gandhi. Good tip and go. And uh, another try, taking the tally to 26 in favor of Loma Gandhi. And there goes the. 26 now in favor of Loma Gandhi. Well done, Loma Gandhi. Exciting game. Conversion to go and sending them to after. Hopefully, when they get their two minute break, their spirits will be revamped and maybe. And uh, that's true. I'm sure they have a chance. To adding it, their tally to 28 points. Half time and it's 20 points in favor of Loma Gandhi. Let's give it up to our DJs. Let's give it up to our DJs. That's great, great music, you know. And in as much as the ancestors might agree to that, let's hope the ancestors agree to what we're going to see today. Hillcrest looking for a response in this uh, second half. A good piece of play there from Eucharist, and they post their first five points on the board. I'm sure the ref, uh, their coach uh, quick their strategy in the second half, and they've picked up. Definitely, your confidence is coming back. Keep 
and uh, that's a successful conversion there, taking their tally to 28 points, 7 to 7. Eucharist with the momentum. We were almost there. And just then, they dropped the ball. Just then. You know, quite unfortunate. Quite, quite unfortunate. But definitely, Mr. Ateo is right. There is more confidence that we're seeing from the Hillcrest boys. Like we have someone who might be hurt. Man down from Gandhi. Like someone who might be hurt Next game, we have St. George's College versus Cow well College. Uh, we have a lot of good players from both schools. Let's see what they can do today. We hope they put on a show. Kyle College versus St. George's. Kyle College to kick off. Oh, a hanging kick by Kyle College. St. George's knocks it on. Advantage to Kyle College. Oh, quick run by Kyle. Managed to be taken down. Quick hands by Kyle College. Has some fast runners there. And knock on by Cal, scrum to St. George's.
Macau College seems to have quick runners. While well, the game is on, let's see if they can take them to their advantage. And both teams seem to be really trying to keep formations well done. Keep rugby clean. Let's remember that, gentlemen. So scum to St. George's. The nine feeds it in. Ball out. Oh, short lines there from St. George's. Hard running there from Saints. Hard running. They managed to hold them up. Cal College managed to hold St. George's up. Man down. Ball out St. George's. What a dummy there from St. George's. Show and go. He's still up. They can't manage to take him down. He's running. Ball's feeding out. Quick hand from St. George's. Ah, oh, yeah, and the knock on advantage to Cal. Hard running from Cal College. They cannot catch him as he goes to score and the try. Cal College has the they first say in this game. A what try a try from Cal College. Wow. Hard running. Hard running from Cal College. Wow, 13 has pace. He does have pace. Warm welcome to our parents who are here to support us on this day. Remember, if you are hungry, we are selling some juicy burgers. PTA is selling juicy burgers at the pavilion behind the announcer's table. And I can see the bride stands up. And the drop kick manages to go in. 7-0 so in go favor of Cal. Thank you. 7-0 in favor of Cal. Cal to drop kick. And the kick is hanged. St. George is failing to catch the ball. Can Cal take it? Ball out from St. George's. Quick passes. Ah, hard running there from St. George's. Hard running as Cal struggles to take the man down. Quick hands from St. George's. Can they put some pace into it? Oh, what a good step there. He runs. Ah, oh, offload, but oh, was a knock. Penalty to St. George's, offside from Carl College. Can they use it to their advantage? Knock on St. George's. Scrum to Carl College. Can St. George's have a say in this game. Cal College seem to be confident from that try and seem to want it more. Scrum feed by Cal College. Ball out. Oh, what a dummy there. Managed to be taken down and a jackal from St. George's. Wow. Man down there. Wow. Absolute great defense from Cal College. The Cal College players seem to be everywhere. Ball out by St. George's. Quick hands. Uh, St. George's seem not to get much meters as they uh, cannot pass the gain line. Hard running from St. George's. Can they stop him? He goes. Any support? Knock back and Cal College running. There he goes. Uh, taken down. Holding on. Penalty to St. George's. Can they take a quick tap? There they go. St. George's man, he breaks the line. Does he have the pace to finish it? Yes, he does. Try time, St. George's. What a lovely try from St. George's. It's unbelievable. Lovely try from St. George's. Hard running. Wow, what speed, what precision. Well done, St. George's College. 
that's amazing thank you drop kick successful by St. George's 7-0 let's see who really wants to take this home between Cal College and St. George's St. George's to kick off High kick by St. George's and knock back by Kyle. Can he manage to retain ball? Yes, he does. Quick run from to the blind side. Can they catch him? Jed Shoes from Kyle College. What a runner. Supporters there. Try time. Try time, Kyle College. What a hard run from Kyle College. They cannot stop the cow players. They cannot stop the cow players. The cow players are just too quick for them. <laughs> Twelve seven in favor of cow. Can the drop kick enter the post? And he doesn't manage to take it through the sticks. 12-5 in favor of Kyle. Half time. Next game we have Masia Pambeli versus Hillcrest. I'm told Hillcrest has quick runners. Let's see if, we, if they can use them to their advantage. Wow. Lovely rugby here at Eaglesville. Eight year sevens. So much talent here. It's just so much talent. Zimbabwe rugby is really going far. And we are back in action here at Eagles or Senior School. St. George's versus Kyle College. St. George's.
Is it try time again? He managed to get in. Hands from Kyle College. Moving the ball from coast to coast. And he loses the ball. St. George is in possession of the ball. Hands. Interception from Kyle. Oh, and offside. Wow. The number 13 from Kyle College just seems to want to play today. Lovely skill set. Too much pace. Scrum to St. George's. Coaches and team managers, coaches and team managers, please scrum to St. George's. Available at the pavilion. And please early engagement by Kyle. Penalty to St. George's. Quick tap. Hands. And the ball is jackaled. Taken by Kyle. Can they use it? Hands outside. And he's tackled. Kyle seem to be throwing the ball around. Good hands from Kyle as they keep position. Lovely running, hard running from Kyle. He's on to the post. Try time, Kyle well, College. Sorry, as he goes through the post. Wow, hard running from Kyle. Kyle College seems to have pace abusers. As St. George's simply cannot catch them. Conversion successful by Kyle. Kyle increased their lead. Sunny weather here at Eagles or Senior School. Good weather to play rugby as the parents are here, alumni are here, everyone's here to watch the sevens today. Good defense from Carroll College. St. George's manages to retain position. What can they do? Hands outside. Does he have the pace to go through? It's taken down. Ball out. Ah, and it's a knock on. Scrum to Cal College. Too many ball handling errors by St. George's. Let's see what Cal College can do. Can they? Put one more try before the end of the game. Ball out. Oh, quick run from Cow. Try time, Cow College. Too much pace from these boys. Too much pace from these boys. What are they giving them in machine goal? They are just too quick. Lovely rugby from Kyle. Another try from Kyle College. Keep your head that way. Conversion, Kyle College. Let's see if he can put it in between the posts. And conversion successful. The St. George's boys look demotivated. Cow on the other hand seem to want it more. They just keep the ball alive and run into space. They're using their speed to advantage. Cow to kick off. Conversion to 
successful. Penalty to Carl to St. George's. Quick tap. Runs into the air support. Carl's counter racking. Can they get the ball? Penalty to Carl College holding on. Quick tap. Show and go. What a step. Can you put a try? Try time, Kyle College. What a dive. What a way to finish the game. Good rugby from Kyle College. They do have hard runners. They do have the skill. Kyle continue to extend their lead. Lovely game here between Cal College and St. George's. Cal College just had most possession and kept the ball alive and used his speed to advantage. Lovely rugby here at Eaglesville. Very good weather here. Up next we have Hillcrest versus Masia Pambili. Hillcrest versus Masia Pambili. Hillcrest. Tap and go. Ball goes to the blind side. Can he run to space? Hillcrest just have great defense and get the ball, get the man. Ball out by Masia. to kick and he hangs the ball just past the five and ten is a line Masia Pambili get ball uses support gets into a contact ball out from Masia Hillcrest go for another try he has too much pace and they cannot catch him and he goes to post to add more points on the board Try time, Hillcrest. Half time. Hillcrest have the lead. Wow. They just seem to want it more as the game is played. It's playing in one half. In Masia Pambili's half. Lovely rugby from both teams. Half time, both teams go for their team talks. I'm sure the Masia Pambili coach does have a lot to say to his gentlemen. Both teams have so much talent coach and so much skill. Tees are ready at the pavilion, please. Seems like.